like as soon as after the official visit, you know, I've been going there, I've been to USC probably like seven, eight times. Like the love is there is unreal. Like the fan base, all of them, they like USC, they, they love me down there. That's what has got my decision. Like all, I got a good relationship with all the coaches. You know, it's a, it was a good vibe down there. Like all the great in the D line they had, like Greg Ellis, Ronnie Holiday, all them. That like I seen them, I met them, I seen them and me. And plus some of us from North Carolina, so I just got that like impression, like I can be there, I can be them. Uh, it was hard, but you know, I had a feel was best for me. Like, make sure I get a right fit for the rest of my life, four years, and the next after that. I mean, the big difference between them two is like. The coaches, like, I had a good relationship with them, but I didn't have like a great relationship with the coaches at South Carolina. I had a, I love um, Coach Tim Cross, the one at UNC. Yeah, he like, he was like one of the best defensive coaches I ever met. Like, he kept it real with me. That was like one of the best parts of it. Yeah, I love Coach Brown. He kept it real with me, just telling me I can follow in line with all the great defensive line that came there. Oh, I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. I know it. How excited are you to be part of that that turnaround? Because Tar Heel fans have been waiting to have this thing turned around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't wait for it. It's gonna be a bit surprised come coming season when I come. I had to get them because when I first when I was a couple times coming up there, it was like I felt I felt love down there. So I, for that official came in, that just set it off right there. Yeah, at UNC, you oh you talking South Carolina? Yeah, they was leading at a point. They were until like I went to that official to so UNC. I got the most love I ever felt down there.